give a big, big round of applause for Military Academy and then Northside College Prep. You are on deck. So, um, the All the way to the end. Um, so we are Chicago Military Academy at Bronzeville. I'm Guadalupe Jimenez, and I'm a freshman. Hello, we're at Chicago Military Academy. My name is Ayobami Albert, and I'm a freshman. Good afternoon. Good morning to everyone. My name is Khalif Chalimboy, and I am a junior. I'm Angel Valdez, and I'm a junior. I'm Amila Walker. I'm a sophomore. I'm Annamilet Ramirez. I'm also a junior. And I'm Sebastian Nogado. I'm a sophomore. Now, we're going to read you guys a quote. And while we're reading you guys a quote, we would like you guys to think about anything that comes to mind at first. Dollar Bill. People spend their whole life seeking to earn it, but won't spend 10 minutes seeking to learn it. Or when would work. Now, can you guys quickly shout out the first thing that came into your mind when you heard this quote? Just quickly shout it out. OK. <laughs> OK. Um, we are the Bronze Eagles. We come from the Chicago Military Academy, Bronzeville, and we are located in the Bronzeville neighborhood. Our team varies from freshmen to uh, seniors who are culturally diverse but have the same interest in helping young people understand the importance of finance. Our vision is to have a large number of our peers to understand finance and how it works, because we know not a lot of people know about finance, and it could be very crucial for their future. The challenge that we have selected was offered to us by Mr. Daniel Rogers, and it was about teaching our peers about financial systems and how it affects our lives. The, o the amount of people, whether it's teens or adults, the amount of them that actually know about finance is scarce, and we're willing to change that by increasing their numbers. So our solution, our group, we came up with a program called the Bronze Eagle. Um, this program simulates a classroom led by students that focuses on financial literacy. <clears throat> So since our class is led by students, our peers feel uh, comfortable and open to learn about this subject. You know, they're not nervous or scared. Um, our intentions are that our program can grow beyond our classrooms and into our communities by involving the schools in Bronzeville. And we seek to expand this throughout Chicago for Bronzeville is not the only community in need of financial literacy. Um, so aside from the program, we also came up with um, another system called Bronze Bucks, where you can um, earn those by coming to our programs, and you can connect that to real life situations. And students who participate in that also get to take charge of the store and experience what it would really be like as a real life situation. They also offer the store also offers healthy snacks, where it helps choose more healthier choices other than the school lunches. Okay. We took a survey of 138 people to see what they know about, 138 students in our school to see what they know about financial, anything about how to manage their money and stuff like that, and these are our results. The results we got were 67% of people had little or no knowledge about finance, about 89% weren't really comfortable with um, managing their money, so they don't really know anything about managing their money. 20% of people had prior education about finance, and 49% of people had some type of general idea about finance and how it works. Our vision is. I forgot. Our vision is to um, is to help young people understand the importance of finance. Our goal is to go beyond our school and our community. We created the survey to see how much the student didn't know and didn't know about finance.
With the results, we opened a school store, we created the after school program, and from that, the results are that students in our school are actually realizing how important Time finance is it is. Up. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Three minutes from, for question and answer starts now. Um, how do students go about earning bronze bucks and then spending them? Um, so this, you, when you come to, so our club is every Wednesday. So you come to the club, we teach you, we have a lesson program, we teach you the, the, the things you need to know about finance and how to manage your money. So you earn bronze bucks, so these are the bronze bucks. You come, you answer questions, we teach you, and we have to review like a quiz, like a regular classroom. And if you're able to show you how much you learn, we give you the bronze bucks. And that's used for our store. How did you all actually create those lesson plans for the club for each week? How did we create the lesson plans? So. We, based on the survey, we asked them um, things like about credit score, the difference between credit and debit, mortgage, you know, the basic things that are important in life. And based on the answers, we created a chart of what they did and didn't know, and that's how we divide our lesson plans. One day was going to learn all about credit. The next day, you're going to learn about mortgage and stuff like that. That's how lessons were created based on what they did know and didn't know. Did you create your own lessons, or did you use some existing financial, uh, an organization that has some? Um, well, we use a both, like we, we have to do our own research, so we had some things, so we create our lesson plans, both of things off internet and our survey, which we created the lesson plan out of. Um, how many students participated in the club, and is, over time, do you find that the number is increasing or decreasing? Um, uh, so we had a, like half a class the first time, but as the word got out, you know, more and more kids wanted to know more, and we actually had kids come up to us and ask us when the club was and what time. And like um, the store, so as you see, you earn bronze bucks from coming to the meeting, so more people want to come to the meeting so that they can earn bronze bucks and buy stuff at our store. One last question. How important would you say uh, uh, parents are in financial literacy and having kids adopt uh, you know, methodologies that they would have had? I say it would be in parents for the, it would be important for the parents to get involved because nobody wants to see their kid go from high in success all the way to living on the streets because their knowledge of financial issues or pretty much anything financial is absolutely scarce. So we would encourage the parents to not only get their kids involved in financial education, but to also teach it to them if they know, because it's for the sake of their future. All right, let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs>